Hello everyone, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This is Element 3D, another tutorial from this season 2. Let's get started. So guys, right now we're in After Effects and yesterday I made this science fictional kind of transformer look logo uh, for VFX World and uh, today I'm trying to show you how I created this because I got so many requests on Instagram that said please make these videos and all. So this is just tutorial guys. Uh, I hope you will love this a lot. So comment and subscribe to VFX World for more updated notifications and all whenever I'll upload the new video. Okay, so first of all, you have to take a new composition here. I'm taking a very a bit like 1280. Uh, by uh, like 720p and name it like uh, tutorial and uh, then just press ok so this is my basic simple comp so first of all we have to take a new logo here so this is my logo new vfx world png logo here so just decrease the size a bit just like this now we have to select this and from layer i am going to this auto trace option and after that you can see the setting set the tolerance one and minimum x ratio is like 10 thresholds one and also you just make the same process and just simply press ok so after that what happened you just click here so that you can see all the vertices and the splines are coming like this so we don't need this uh, vfx world text here just select and simply delete so now just turn this back one or else you can delete it and this is not needed right now make it to fit the screen so this is our like main logo and uh, just rename it like properly then logo here and now we are taking a new and then solid and we're taking it like a e3d for element 3d and just press ok okay so go to element 3d first and right click and video copilot and element so this is the like a basic simple steps here so after that we have to go to this custom layers and from custom text and mask i'm taking this logo one here and after that let's jump into scene setup of this element 3d okay so inside of the scene setup first of all you have to extrude this logo here so you can find out this logo here you can uh, turn off this normalize size or so just click this normalize size so that the logo will come like this now select the rotation and by pressing shift you have to rotate this to this uh, ground so now what happened the exact logo is right now set it on the ground okay so now we have to select the material here and you have to go down you can find this uh, bevel outline so just simply turn this on so now what happened we will find this as an outline so this is like a very very basic simple steps here which is done now the next part which is pretty lengthy and pretty annoying as well so what you have to do first of all go to this top view you can find uh, this logo is in top view most of the time we are using top view for this kind of tutorials basically we have to install this motion design to pack or else you can use any other 3d models to achieve your personalized 3d transformer types of model so if you notice this is our grid area and this is our uh, like model area so what you have to do just you have to select few models here randomly which can exactly uh, like uh, merge with this kind of thing so i'm selecting suppose like this one and simply move it here and i'm just uh, decrease the scale value something like this so now it becomes some like this one and let's make some smooth here and just make some position changing and all and again you have to make the size to match this so this will look like this and now when you go to this perspective view it will automatically fit on this area okay so now again we have to go to top view and we have to make a duplicate here and we have to simply make it something like this and decrease the size here a bit like this and just simply make it to like this again you have to duplicate the same copy here and positioning it just like this simply like make it bigger it's very simple first of all but simultaneously it's pretty creative also because we have to make sure the shapes should be match the your main logo whatever you have to use here if you want to any text and all so in this way you can achieve your output so now for this areas you have to just press alt and take a duplicate to rotate it like this and after that this is your reference lines basically we are taking this logo as in reference line so rotate it just like that and simply scale it down and just match those positions something like that okay and the same thing for this one also so i'm not showing you the entire process but the main plus point of this kind of shapes are we don't have to do the entire part so what you have to do select the group and go to the perspective so that you can exactly see what i'm trying to show you select this group here we don't need this right now so just turn it off 
and select the group go to the symmetrical option where you can find this x y and z so when you click this in x axis it will automatically being duplicated like this so what happened just turn it back on and we're going to the top view so let's fill this area with some another shape so let's take uh, this shape to fill this area so just decrease the shape something like that and whenever you move it here it will automatically start adding on this areas as well if you notice this what we were doing here it will automatically update here as well so it means you have to do only this much area and it will automatically update here so you have to focus this area completely so what you will do it will completely uh, like copying it here as well so that i will show you the exact com file so let's jump into that file so guys this is the main com file which I have done yesterday so if you notice I just have to go to the top view so that you can exactly see what I did here I did a lot of components here you can see there's a lot of components so just first of all turn this off because we don't need this one so just turn it off right now and uh, let's select anyone from here now you can see exactly what I'm trying to show you I just added random models which is exactly should match with this models and all if you go to this perspective view can exactly see it's pretty looking some science friction or like transformer kind of thing you can move the camera something from here as well and uh, just like this so after that what you have to do select all the materials or models just right click reflection mode should be environment because whatever its environment is here it should be reflected on this model and what I did I just changed some few colors here so I just control and select on this material and I just change the colors from here to the luminance or illuminations and all if you want to change it any color you can exactly do it that's it and uh, after that as I told you for environment I used this one and simply press ok we don't need to do anything here as well ok so after that what you have to do I just uh, show you the main two cams here so this is my like uh, normal cam so if I turn this off I have have this another cam which will load a bit time because it's pretty high comp so this is another cam which is uh, like a very uh, like 15 millimeters camera if you go here this is only 15 millimeter camera and with depth of field it will look something like that and I have this camera as well so first of all turn this off we don't need that and let me go through with all the detailed process what I exactly did here so select the element 3d model I just make some rotations here in z axis so that it will start uh, rotating you have to take some few time because is a pretty high comb this is over like more than 2k comb so it will take some time so this is a very basic rotation with the default motion blur and uh, like depth of fields and all and after that what i did i did duplicate the same element 3d model and we just name it to illumination and go down you can uh, find this many options what i did let me show you with all the models here so just to make this off here and in the render panel you can find the output over there it changed from this one to illumination here just illumination here and multi sampling is like 16 you can change it on based on your system like 32 or anything and after that i added few settings here like glow so if i turn this off all and i just turn on this layer again back here make it to solo and you can see this is the illuminated part and i just added a glow here so it will start adding a bit glow and after that i added another glow here so it will become some bit more glowing effect here and next i just change into hue and saturation just when i turn this back on i want to change the colors in like some greenish kind of thing and all so this is adding a hue and saturation now let's turn off the solo option and just toggle this and i change the blending mode from normal to screen here to match with this colors and all now this is called world position when i turn it on and make it solo you can see this kind of thing here so what is exactly it is uh, this is a like a kind of depth of field here i just may turn it off so that you can see this is alpha here so when you rotate this here so you can exactly see this is the very default like z depth kind of thing so what i did i just turn it back on and make the tint value here so that you can exactly see this area will be some glue kind of thing and all so when you rotate it here this kind of thing will be rotation as much as you can like see this area start glowing and all so I just turn this off for this rotation animation I'll add only that on still static footage 
this kind of thing okay after that what i did i added some very basic a uh, parallel light here to make some bit of lighting reflections and then simply i added a curves value for the cc when i turn it back on you can exactly see this is kind of thing with the cc here so i just make some blue tint bit up and green tint bit down that's it and uh, again i just want to mention that to make sure this kind of thing is based on completely depth of field so whenever you go here and you can just start on your depth of field on this area will be in blur this area will be in focus so make sure you have to use depth of field properly more precisely so that you can exactly see your output will come more precise and well so uh, whenever you're happy with this output you can start rendering and all and i hope guys you will start creating some this kind of more amazing content in future and don't forget to tag me on instagram uh, and may I'm very soon we'll be crossing 50k and I'll make another giveaway announcement so for that subscribe to our channel VFX world and if you really love this video then please do share like comment and share on your social media friends group circles and all and see you next time with some more amazing content and before leaving follow us on our social media handles like Facebook Instagram LinkedIn and Twitter so guys uh, bye bye and uh, see you next time